So guys, I'm so happy that you are coming into the kitchen. This is like the perfect timing. So I have some red snapper and I also have striped bass, beautiful fresh striped bass. And I wish I had taken pictures of when I had just gotten them from the fishmonger because I wanted to show you the clarity of the eye, how it was so bright and beautiful. It was not red. It was just a beautiful, fresh um, color. There's no smell, if you can see a little bit of here. And the reason why it's cloudy like this, not because it's not fresh, it's because I had it soaked in vinegar and salt. Now, we do know that vinegar and salt will um, start to cook your fish like a ceviche. But this is also a kind of, to the reason why it's done is to remove that fishy odor. And it's a part of the process in which we begin to cook. So I will be pro, um, showing you pictures of the before and afters of how now everything is nice and clean. Um, I like um, striped bass because striped bass doesn't have so much um, bones as it compared to the, um, the yellow um, red snapper. Um... It's beautiful. I've cleaned insides. And now the process is just to um, clean it with lemons, which I have right here. And what I do is I squeeze it in and I rub it really well. Also, what I've done is on the sides, I usually like to pull the bone out on the side, which um, I want to show you how to do that. That's why I left this part in. You're just going to take the tip of your knife right around that bone and pull it straight out. It's that easy. Can you see that? It's that easy. I'm going to pull the rest of them out. There you go. Okay. And you want to make sure everything is completely clean. All of this blood and everything is really completely cleaned out. Like I said, when I get to the part of the lemon, it's going to be, I'm going to show you, I'm going to clean this out and I'm going to come back and show you. You can already see a difference. Okay. Like I said, we're going to remove all of those bones because right here and go with the flesh. So we're not trying to destroy the flesh of the fish, but this makes it so much safer for those, our loved ones that are eating. Okay. So keep going and then I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is. I'm clean. You notice I remove all of the scales here while the fishmonger. It's clean. Look at that. Nice and clean. Remove. Okay guys, so I've cleaned the inside. Look at that beauty. Everything is nice and clean. And then I've scored it. So you wanna score your fish because it absorbs the flavor. The flesh is thick, but you give it a nice um, uh, score and it's really pretty. Make sure your knife is, you can see this. I really gave it a nice score. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use my seasonings, which I have here. I have my ipis over here, which I'm gonna like I said, I've washed these with lime juice, okay, and um, in salt and vinegar. I have an uh, all-purpose seasoning, which I'm going to pour in there. I also like to use lime juice half. This is like an acid. This is the acid. I like the flavor that it gives. It just it, and it gives to my fish, and ooh, <coughs> that's a uh, <laughs> Creole seasoning. So this is my um, my scotch bonnet with um, cloves. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's spicy. And then I have a multi-season in here um, that has like a mix of everything in it that I like to put. Then I like to add my parsley and my thyme. But first I'm going to get in and make sure that everything gets well seasoned. So you're going to open up your fish and make sure that your seasoning gets inside and it gets all the way and get into all of the crevices of your fish because you'll want your fish to be flavorful. Okay. So make sure you open it up and you put your seasonings. Be careful. There are bones in here. It's sharp. You want the flavors to penetrate and get into your fish. Okay. So let me finish doing this and I'll show you guys. Once we get back, what it looks like. So one of the things I like to add, guys, is my garlic. Although my ipis has garlic in it, I use lots of garlic in my ipis. But I choose to add fresh garlic again. This is about four cloves. 
um and it's big clothes it's not the small ones that's why there's so much it makes a big difference so please add that in i have some cut up bell peppers okay you can use red you can use green that's perfectly fine i have my thyme fresh thyme wash make sure you always wash your um herbs guys fresh thyme if you don't have fresh thyme you can use the dry but um, dry is not going to be as pungent and give that good, strong, fla nice flavor that you want. And I like to add a lot of parsley. Now, this fish is going to be fried, so <clears throat> don't worry about anything. I like to cover them. I'm going to show you right here. I like to cover and place my fish on top of my parsley. And then there's my scotch bonnet. <clears throat> Everything is nice and fresh, you guys. And then this is all ready for when I am ready for it. And like I said, don't forget to score your fish to give it that nice, get the seasonings into it. The tails, I usually do three. Now, um, <clears throat> the, um, fish this season is hard to come by, especially now that we're um, stuck home with the COVID uh, crisis. But <clears throat> I'm telling you, just try your best to... Um, get your fish as soon as you can um, But honestly, this is really delicious and it is done you guys. Thank you so much for watching Please like comment and subscribe if you have any questions, please comment down below what kind of um, Questions or if you have suggestions for me, like I said, I don't care. I am um, I'm not a, uh, I don't uh, this has uh, been a video in the making for the longest time because a lot of people has been asking me especially my cousin Gary he's been asking me can you make fish video so you know what this video was for my cousin Gary because he's asking so much but you guys I wish you all the best take care and enjoy your fish bye guys